Sinisterism is about struggle, a raw, primal struggle with the self. It's not about being a pussy. Does that word offend you? Are you easily offended? Did I hurt your feelings? Then sinisterism is not for you. Climb back into your safe space because you won't be getting any participation trophies around here. Apotheosis, self-deification, individuation, enlightenment, sinister illumination, whatever you want to call the goal you're trying to reach on this path is a struggle, a real struggle. And in the greater philosophical and psychological perspective, it's about a struggle you are having with the inner self, a personal struggle one I fully understand. I understand that just below the surface of our reality is an abyss of madness and horror and that the surface we stand upon, all of us, is fragile. It's called being a fucking human being, being alive. But what, what helps me to cope personally is the empowerment I get from sinisterous philosophy. This path of the individual, because I can't go where you're going into the recesses of your personal abyss, should be leading you to psychological wholeness. Sure, conjuring up new friends and acquaintances, communing with the old gods, dancing with the demons, if you will, is all part of it. But venturing into the depths of your personal hell should be the foremost reason, the most important reason why you're on the path. I've come to notice that many of those who say they're on the left-hand path are miserable, complaining and blaming others in society for their woes in life. And for some of you, it appears the path itself is contributing to your misery. And as I've mentioned before, I know the reason why. It's because you still aren't facing the darkness. You're allowing nihilism, despair, and the horrors of the dark absolute to, to seep in the unknown, the foreign, and there is no greater fear than the fear of the unknown. I know many of you stepped onto the left-hand path out of childish rebellion, not for apotheosis or sinister illumination. So you try to plug that hole in your psyche with just about anything. But if you're doing that, then you don't understand what the left-hand path is. It's about embracing those demons that spill forth from that inner hell while wallowing in the evil. And you can embrace them because you know them. So don't ignore the abyss and what lies therein pretending it isn't there. Get to know it by joining us on the Sinistrous Path. Until next time, my friends, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.